Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to make Instant Pot Cabbage Rolls. Hi, I'm Karen Peterson, and I share Instant Pot stuff with you every week here on YouTube and every day on my website, 365daysofcrockpot.com. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing how to make cabbage rolls in the Instant Pot. I love using this method because instead of boiling the cabbage on the stove and boiling the rice on the stove, we're gonna just take both of those steps and put it into one step using the Instant Pot and then rolling up the cabbage rolls and cooking them in the Instant Pot as well. It simplifies the recipe process so much that you're gonna be making cabbage rolls a lot more often because they are so delicious and now they are so easy. Let's get started with this recipe for Instant Pot cabbage rolls. This recipe works perfectly with a six quart or eight quart Instant Pot. First, add in one and one half cups water into the bottom of your Instant Pot. Then you're gonna need some sort of stainless steel pan or a cake pan that fits inside your Instant Pot. We're gonna cook the rice and the cabbage inside this pan. So pour in your rice, a third cup of rice, and a half cup of water. And I just used long grain white rice for this recipe. You could also use jasmine rice. Now I have this cool sling trivet thing that I just like because it lowers that pan so nicely into the bottom of the pot. And then you place the cabbage, a medium sized cabbage, not too small, not too big, that it won't fit inside your Instant Pot on top of the rice. It's kind of weird, put the core side down. And then you can just cover your Instant Pot. Make sure the valve is set to sealing and not to venting. And then set the manual button or the pressure cook button to five minutes. This is just gonna steam that rice and steam the cabbage so that the leaves get very nice and pliable. When the time's up, just move the valve to venting. And then let's get started with the meat mixture. Add 1.25 pounds of lean or extra lean ground beef into a bowl. And you need to use the leaner kind so that it doesn't get all greasy. Then add in uh, about a half a cup of um, diced onion and then some pepper, half teaspoon, and a teaspoon of kosher salt. Then add in a teaspoon of garlic powder lots of flavor, and just one egg you'll need. And then we're gonna use the rice that's in the pot. Um, so just take off that lid once you can and safely remove the pan with the cabbage and the rice in it. Now we're gonna take that cooked rice and it might be a little bit watery and that's okay. Just stir it into the meat mixture and then I use gloves, but you can just use clean washed hands to mix the mixture. Don't over mix it, but just make sure it's really nice, com nice and combined. And then we're gonna take those cabbage leaves and gently peel one at a time off of the head of cabbage. Um, it is kind of a tricky process just because they do rip sort of easily and we don't want that because we are using each of these leaves for an individual cabbage roll and we don't want the mixture um, going through any of the cracks or things like that. So just try to be gentle, take your time, just peel each of those leaves off and we're gonna peel them all the way down until you get to that hard white part that won't peel anymore. We'll need about nine full cabbage leaves. Then take that hard part and cut it into four or five, maybe six pieces. And then put your trivet back into the pot and then one and one half cups of water and put those uh, chunks of cabbage just in the bottom And then we're gonna start making our rolls. 
So you're going to notice there's a thick vein on some of the uh, leaves. We're going to just carefully use a paring knife to kind of shave it off. And then put the vein side down on your plate. And I like to use an ice cream scooper. It's a quarter cup. And I just kind of get it heaping full. And then place it at the bottom of the leaf. And then roll. You just roll it and tuck the sides. Roll and tuck and all the way to the end there. Then you can place it seam side down on top of those cabbage chunks. And then repeat the process until all the cabbage leaves are used and all the meat mixture is used. Hopefully it matches up. And here's what it will look like. Then we're gonna pour over the top. This is two cans of tomato soup, condensed tomato soup. And you're gonna just pour it straight over the top of those cabbage rolls. And it's gonna be the sauce. Then put the lid on. And mine still is on the warm mode, so I'm gonna turn it off warm and then set the manual button to 18 minutes. Now this is gonna have a natural pressure release of 15 minutes. So once that's all done, you're gonna move the valve to venting. You can remove the lid and you can just gently place those cabbage rolls onto a platter or plate. To thicken up the sauce, I'm using cornstarch. So I put two tablespoons of cornstarch and three tablespoons of water into this little measuring cup and I'm just gonna stir it until smooth. Then pour it into the pot and I turn my pot to saute. And then once it's thick, you can ladle it over the cabbage rolls and serve them. I hope you love these cabbage rolls as much as my family did. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.